How to use the virtual EMDR eye movement tool. In this video, you'll learn how to use the virtual EMDR eye movement tool software, customize the eye movement tool settings to optimize the effectiveness of your EMDR session, and use and set the timer on the eye movement tool. You will use the EMDR eye movement tool software two or more times in each virtual EMDR session. The eye movement tool features an on-screen visual stimulation along with bilateral audio tones that move from side to side. Using the eye movement tool is easy and intuitive, even if you've never done EMDR before. Remember that with your virtual EMDR subscription, you have unlimited access to the program. Take the time to learn which functions and settings of the virtual EMDR eye movement tool gives you the best and most effective EMDR session experience. Be sure to read and follow all instructions for using the eye movement tool. Using the virtual EMDR eye movement tool software. You will use the eye movement tool while focusing on specific pre-selected memories, mental images, and emotions to stimulate your brain and nervous system. In EMDR therapy, this is called processing. You can use the eye movement tool software on your desk or laptop computer or on a large screen tablet. It is not recommended for use on a smaller screen, such as mobile phone, as your eyes will not have the full range of motion to engage both sides of your brain effectively. First, put on your headphones so that you can hear the accompanying audio tones in each ear. Next, position your face 18 inches or about 45 centimeters from the screen. This is slightly shorter than the length of your arm. When the object on the screen begins moving, follow it with your eyes only. Your head should remain stationary. Focus your mind as your eyes follow the on-screen moving object and as you listen to the side-by-side -side audio tones. Let your thoughts touch on each part of your target and self-beliefs such as mental movies or images, sounds and smells, body sensations, memories, and related emotions. If you do not have a specific memory or belief to focus on, you may choose to instead focus on your feelings of sadness, fear, grief, or anxiety. You do not need to work on your target or beliefs in any particular order. Instead, let your thoughts move from one part of your target to the next in any way that feels comfortable. Sometimes strong emotions will come up while you are processing with your eye movement tool. This can be a good sign as it indicates that the EMDR session is impacting your brain and nervous system. Let yourself feel your feelings as they arise and trust that this is part of the healing process. If you start to feel overwhelmed, you can stop the session and take a break. You can also do a simple grounding exercise, which you can find in the main menu bar. If you get distracted or lose your focus, you may press the space bar to pause the eye movement tool. When you are ready, direct your attention back to your target and beliefs and press space again to resume EMDR processing. Customizing your eye movement tool settings. The virtual EMDR eye movement tool features customizable settings designed to optimize your EMDR experience. Some of these settings are up to your personal preference, while others can help to intensify or enhance your EMDR session results. Select your preferred settings from the virtual EMDR eye movement tool menu. The background, object color, object size, blur, and audio tone settings are entirely a matter of personal preference. Set up the EMDR eye movement tool in a way that feels comfortable to you. The object speed and volume will directly affect your EMDR experience. As the sound gets louder and the movement gets faster, the session will become more intense. Consider increasing the object speed and volume to push through a difficult target or emotional trigger. The object path default setting is horizontal. This will work for the majority of virtual EMDR sessions. If you are stuck, you may choose to experiment with the figure eight and diagonal stimulation patterns to see if these settings are more effective for you. While the eye movement tool software is running, you can use the full screen button at the top left to maximize your viewing area. The virtual EMDR eye movement tool also allows you to save your preferred settings for future EMDR sessions. Using and setting the eye movement tool timer. 
You can select your desired processing time on the virtual EMDR eye movement tool menu. The software has been preset to allow you to do short bursts of EMDR and repeat until you're ready to move on. But if you prefer, you can set the timer for longer as desired. We recommend you start with between 5 and 20 minutes in total for Step 3, desensitization, and 2 to 10 minutes in total for Step 4, installation. Experienced virtual EMDR users may use the eye movement tool for longer periods as desired to achieve optimum session results. Remember that with your virtual EMDR subscription, you have unlimited access to the program. Use this to learn which timer settings give you the best and most effective EMDR session experience. Mm -hmm.